Did you know that South Sudan harbors one of the world's largest migration of land mammals? Yes, Bandingilo and Boma National Park make up nearly 3 million hectares that are home to an abundance of wildlife, including hundreds of thousands of migrating antelope. Viewers on Oxygen TV, welcome to Face of the Nation and I am Sarah Atoj, your host. My guest on this episode stands out as a chemical engineer and to be more specific, a process system engineer. One of South Sudanese students who had the privilege to study in Zimbabwe under the government scholarship in 2014 and was also an outstanding student leader. He as well is the CEO of X Momentum, a premier logistics company specializing in air transport services, including charter flights, air cargo logistics in South Sudan, as well as booking air tickets to all major destinations around the world. Engineer Moseti Kat Mondok, welcome to Oxygen TV. You're highly welcome. It's a pleasure to host you in this episode. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sarah, for having me. I would like to say thank you so much uh, to Oxygen Team uh, for inviting me over to their studio. It's a privilege to be here, and thank you so much once again. Wonderful. Yeah, uh, let's dive right into the conversation. Yeah. Uh, starting with you as the CEO for X Momentum. What inclined you to start X Momentum, and what are the primary goals of your company? Uh, well, X Momentum uh, Limited is uh, a South Sudanese own uh, indigenous company that was incepted with the aim of providing logistical support and to bridge the gap in our hair transportation system. So we are destined uh, in provisions of safe, reliable, and timely transportation services to our common citizens and the people within the Republic of South Sudan. Wonderful. Uh, when it comes to uh, tourism and, and, and safari, can you elaborate on your company's intervention regarding adventure and tourism in South Sudan? Yeah, well, uh, first and foremost, uh, we, X Momentum Limited is involved in charter flight services, but basically uh, in our conjunction with other stakeholders, which is African Park and the Ministry of Wildlife and Conservation, we have dis decided to embark on discovery flights and with the aims of creating uh, visibility and to expose uh, the tourism sector in South Sudan. So we have a massive population of wildlife that is within our borders and people are not aware of. So we took the initiative to ensure that we have discovery flights so that uh, people can get an exposure about the wildlife and biodiversity that we have in our country. Wonderful. So what are the major discovery flight destinations at your company currently? Uh, currently, we, our major safaris, we are doing a discovery flight to Benigula National Park, which is approximately uh, 20 minutes on a flight uh, from Juba and also to Moma National Park. And it's quite incredible outside there. It's amazing. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Bandingilo and Boma National yeah. Park, uh, what causes them to outstand or what is the significance of Bandingilo and Boma National Park to be tourist attractions? Uh, well, uh, apart from the biodiversity, the stunning landscape, uh, Bandingilo National Park holds one of the millions of uh, wild, uh, wild animal, which is called Tiang. Mm. Tiang is a special type of antelope that is only found in South Sudan and it's at Beningula National Park. And what makes it so unique in this case is because it's the massive uh, in terms of number or volume. So we are talking approximately maybe about 2 million or 1.5 million uh, animals. So it makes it one of the biggest migration in the world. And if you go to uh, Boma, uh, Boma National Park also hosts one of the biggest migrations of cops. So you also find them in millions and also in numbers. So it makes it as a very unique and distinctive, mm. you know, um, ecotourism. Engineer Kat, you mentioned earlier that you've been taking flights to uh, both Bandingilo and Boma National Park. Now for the tourists that have been able to visit, you personally have also taken a couple of flights as X Momentum. What has been the experience like from the wildlife and what are the most beautiful things that somebody would really pick an interest to uh, to visit the parks for? How are the feedback that you've been able to receive from the tourists that have visited? And what do you think uh, you would tell people so you can actually persuade them to visit Boma and Bandingilo? 
Well, I would, I would say the, both Boma and the Benigno National Park are such a beautiful place in terms of landscape and wildlife, the environment. It's such a place to be. And uh, for the feedback we have received from uh, clients, the tourists that visit the park, most of them, they couldn't believe this is South Sudan. And I had some of my friends that even visit, uh, they were scared. Some were asking questions, how is it to do about the lions? Because they saw some lions. Mm -hmm. And they feel they know, they own the helicopters and the fact that the lion is, is down there. Some of them got scared. They're like, no, the lion doesn't jump on a plane. So it's, 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 it's a very uh, beautiful place to be. And you have an exposure of the various uh, species of wild animal that we have in South Sudan. Like in Badingla, we have the Nubian giraffe in Badingla National Park. And uh, we have so many species of animal, the tiang, and they move in groups, you know, in heads of... Uh, so it, it's such an amazing one. And then also the community around uh, Boma, uh, the Gia community, they have a very, very intact and a very solid, rich culture that is not even here. So in the community, they're very welcoming. The people living in those areas, they're very hospitable. And they're the people that people need to interact with them because the culture there is very intact. And I still believe, as a South Sudanese people, there's a need for us to maintain and to keep our, our, our culture. It has to be reserved. We have to keep it. So I believe if one has an opportunity uh, to, 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 to visit the park, it's an exposure. And also on our side, as X Momentum, as a private company, we ensure that the safety of our tourists is a, it's our priority. And we are doing it also as an aim, being it as a business. But then we try to put our interests of our people at trust. We try to ensure that whatever that we do, regardless of whatever responsibilities, the interests of the people comes as a priority to us. So in the core af actions of our business, we ensure that our customers, our clients, they receive the best services ever because our destiny is to serve them and to ensure that they're satisfied in whatever that we do. Wonderful. Let's speak regarding the security. Uh, it could be one of the concerns that uh, would trigger people's minds to quest. So uh, what is the security like? Uh, you've spoken about X Momentum's measures and also its quality service delivered to ensure the, the safety of your clients. But how about at the landscape? Oh, well, uh, in, in, in Bandingo and Boma National Park, like I said, uh, it, it's a very secure area uh, because one, there's a big investment that African Park and Ministry of Wildlife have put in place. Uh, in, 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 in Boma and also in Bendiglo, they have camps. And these camps, they have surveillance to check and also to see the activities of, uh, of the animals, their movement, and then, you know. And uh, so, and most of the animals also, they have been, they have been called attacked. So they're able to monitor their movement through a GPS in a real time situation. And then talking about the safety is a very safe place. We have not had of any incidences. Uh, so it's a peaceful environment to be, and anyone is welcome to visit Bandinglo and Boma National Park. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, speaking of, of, of tourism in general, uh, what potential exactly does, does the tourism sector hold for South Sudan? What is the potential benefit of South Sudan's tourism industry di and diversifying the economy? Uh, well, uh, uh, the, tourism, uh, the tourism industry, it's one industry that maybe it, have, it has been overlooked over the years. So uh, tourism industry has a very economical impact uh, on the, in, the, in, in, the, in, in South Sudan, if we put it in, in, a, in a context, if we try to, uh, to, to, to embrace it. So I mean, when we embrace tourism, it means that we'll create job opportunities. Uh, to, to our local citizens and also revenue generations in terms of tax and also it also go back to the host community as a benefit. So in areas like in Boma and also in Badinglo, the communities in those areas, they can directly benefit from tourism. Cool. Um, 
Back to Bandingilo and Boma yeah. National Parks, yeah. uh, the main tourist attractions over there is the landscape, the edibles, uh, the different species, the unique species, uh, which you know more in more details. Uh, what is the importance of, of conserving the wildlife or um, what can actually be done in order to conserve? What would you say to the community, to the society, to all viewers about conserving wildlife in nature? Yeah, well, um, first I would like to give a special appreciation to African Bank and the Minister of Wildlife and Conservation because uh, they have done a very uh, tremendous work in conservation and protection of wildlife. That is in Boma and Bandingula National Park. Currently, or two weeks approximately, two weeks ago, uh, African Parks, in conjunction with uh, the Minister of Wildlife and Tourism, uh, they embarked on the training of uh, uh, game ranges, uh, the wildlife ranges, and then about 24 of them were uh, officially graduated uh, with the aim of conservation and protection of uh, the, the wildlife and also the biodiversity. So basically, in order to ensure that there's a viability of the park, then we have to, in, we have to make sure that uh, uh, we, we practice measures that protect the wildlife within these areas. So basically, uh, it, it's, important, it's important that we embark on this conservation so that we also do away with poaching, you know, because uh, we, are, we have seen in areas whereby um, people are conducting poaching, uh, poachery. And it means that for commercial use, not for actually for the normal consumption of the communities. So it's something we, we really have to, to ensure that we, we, we don't promote such practice because it's again, it's the regulations and uh, the norms and rules that are being set by the Ministry of Wildlife and Conservation. Wonderful. Uh, regarding South Sudan's narrative and the general aspect or the global aspect, we can see that the negatives are more than the positive. Yeah. And uh, it's something that so many people can attest to. So uh, what role do stakeholders, the government, the local community, individuals that uh, have the passion and the zeal to change the narrative about South Sudan, what role do we all have to play such that we can be able to increase global awareness for South Sudan as a premier destination for ecotourism? Yeah, well, uh, the stakeholders have a crucial role to play or a, a, a vital role to play in this, in this sector because we need the support from the international uh, organization, local communities and the government because when we talked about wildlife, there's a lot of things that a lot of infrastructure investment that have to be in place. So we are talking about the infrastructure, we are talking about the safety, we are talking about the security. And we, did, we cannot do it ourselves, so we need the support. And also um, uh, the stakeholders have to engage in the, uh, creating global awareness so that we can have visitors visiting South Sudan for, uh, for tourism. So it's another way that we can create uh, uh, global awareness. And, and, and basically, uh, South Sudan, we, we might not have uh, the scri uh, scrappers. We don't have major highways, but then we have something to boast of. That's our wildlife. We are very rich. Uh, we are very rich in terms of wildlife conservation. We have the biggest uh, migration in the world that is untapped. And, and there's a lot of potential there. So. It's something we, we, we can position ourselves into the image uh, uh, of the other countries in the world. So let us em embrace uh, tourism and wildlife and let us uh, continue to mobilize and to ensure that the, 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 the world is aware of this uh, potential in South Sudan opportunity in terms of wildlife. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, Engineer, you stated earlier that you're currently taking flights to Bandingilo and Boma National Parks, which is Discovery Flights. Yeah. Um, for the previous flights that you have been able to take tourists to visit both sites, uh, what are the kinds of feedback that you've been able to receive and how have they also shaped your intervention? Uh, well, we have had a very positive and successful feedback uh, from the few tourists that both are domestic and international that we have flown to Bendinglo and uh, in Boma and the feedback uh, is very positive and it's, it's very encouraging. So we basically uh, 
we are now encouraging people to visit the park and because uh, there's no need of traveling and visiting other foreign countries when we have we have something bigger we have the wildlife the biggest migration compared to any other place in Africa so we, we, we are very grateful for the positive feedback we have received from our, from our client and we are working hard and harder to ensure that we, we, we organize and we tell uh, services that are customer satisfactory to, to our clients and also to the tourists. Wonderful. How do you envision South Sudan's tourism future in the next coming years, five to ten years? What, what do you envision? Well, I look at it as a, it's, it will be a period of uh, growth and development, uh, significant growth and development, because uh, this is, uh, uh, it's an, uh, untapped. Uh, there's, there's a lot of untapped opportunity in this industry. So I envision South Sudan becoming like um, uh, one of the international destinations for ecotourism. So basically, as we continue to invest in the infrastructure, uh, safety, and security measures. And then South Sudan can be one of the world uh, leading, one, one, one of the world leading in ecotourism and could become one of the global center uh, for tourism as long as we embrace it. So I believe it's a journey. It's a journey that all of us as citizens of this country we really have to support and rally behind the government, which is the Ministry of Wildlife and other stakeholders, to give them the maximum support so that we can diversify uh, this industry. Okay, uh, what long-term impact or efforts do you think X Momentum is going to play in order to uh, put in more efforts in the tourism landscape for South Sudan? Uh, well, as a private sector, um, uh, we, 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 we follow the regulations and the norm that have been set by the ministry or the concerned uh, authorities. So basically, as a private sector, we continue to work in line with the regulations that are set by the Ministry of Wildlife, African Park, and also help them in terms of conservation and protection of, of, of wildlife. And, and if there's a way that uh, we can make this industry grow, then, then we'll definitely have to help and assist the other stakeholders in creating awareness and also involving the local community by maybe provisions of training and you know provision of other services uh, basic services to the local communities in those areas so i believe with x momentum and also in partnership with other stakeholders uh, we, we we can create uh, awareness about wildlife wonderful uh, how can interested clients or potential tourists Get in touch with X Momentum for more information and collaboration regarding tourism uh, opportunities. Well, uh, we are located at Airport Road, uh, opposite Sadeco building. Uh, that is our physical location. And we are also available on social media platform, that is on Facebook, X Momentum Limited, also on Twitter, X Momentum Limited, and also others can reach us through our website and uh, our contact details are there. And we are basically encouraging people to to come and book with the Discovery flight and have the experience uh, to enjoy uh, this, uh, this abundance of blessing that we have within our boundaries in South Sudan. Thank you so much, Engineer yeah. Kat. Viewers of Oxygen TV, you have the opportunity to visit one of South Sudan's most beautiful landscapes, and that is Bandingolo and Boma National Parks. This has been an enriching conversation with Engineer Kat Mosetti, and with this, we come to the end of the conversation. This has been Sarah Atojo, host on Face of the Nation. Keep updated to Oxygen TV's latest news and insights on all our social media platforms. Until we meet in another conversation, see you all soon. This is Oxygen.